Okay, guys, before you set me on fire, please give me some time so I can explain myself. As of today, it has been 125 days. That means 4 months and 3 days since Starfield launched on September 6th. And we could finally play the game that we all waited for for so long. The game that Bethesda called it Passion Project and it was, according to them, 25 years in the making. And it was all good and fun. A space exploration game which you can create your own ship and travel great distances in space and do quests. Like Skyrim but in space. That's what most of us felt or at least thought we felt. But as the time passed and we got more deep into the game and played more, we noticed there are some elements in a game that for some reason they thought they are good gameplay mechanics in a large space exploration adventure RPG, mind you, which is blocking your way of having fun. Let me give you an example. What makes a good RPG game a good one in a nutshell? Loots. Loot and looting. Keeping the good loot for yourself so you can use them and sell the rest to get in-game currency to again go and buy better stuff from the in-game store and vendors. But not in this game for some reason. First, you have a very little space as of inventory space I mean, which if you get overweight, even walking will cost you stamina. Making my character slow or walk slower like other games makes sense, sure, but losing stamina by walking? And if I lose stamina completely, then my HP bar is the next. I lose HP, health, just by walking. It's like they wanted, purposefully wanted, to suck out all of the fun. And then even if you had an imaginary, let's say, huge inventory space in this game, vendors and the shops have cash cap for the love of God. That means if you want to sell all the things you looted from your adventure, like simply visiting a point of interest and loot the location, you cannot do that. No, 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 no. You have to sell some of it and then shop. The shop that you're selling your stuff runs out of money. Then you have to find a place to sit or go to bed on your ship, do a skipping time thingy. And it takes forever, 48 hours in game if I'm not mistaken, just for the shop to get a bit more money so you can continue selling your stuff. They failed to make the most important yet simple mechanic of the game fun. Then we got more deep and realized, oh no, straight up there are some stuff not in a game that is blocking our way to have fun. Lack of cool space design. Like bro, you are in a space and you're wearing a space suit. At least design some interesting space suit for us to find, loot, wear and just show off, take a screenshot and share it with our friends. Maybe one or two, but the rest of our... Um, I don't know, man, or lack of ground vehicle. When you land on a planet, there are some point of interest you want to go. Either you have to walk to them, and I must say they are so far away from each other, which is a good thing actually, it's a planet after all, or go back to your ship, open the map, select the nearest location to that point of interest, and land there. Mind you, you won't be doing that yourself. I mean you won't get to your piloting seat and turn on your engine and lift off and control your ship to that point. No, 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 no. Which if you could, I mean, it would be awesome, right? But no. You go to your ship, open map, mark the nearest location to that point of interest, let's say a cave or a structure, and when you command it to go there, it all happens like a cutscene feels like. You don't control your own ship. And please don't get me started on the amount of loading screen you will see just by doing that. These two examples, which are very important ones, are some of the things that this game, with having it or lack of having it, is just losing the taste of fun and doesn't let the gamers to get lost in the game's immersion. The game is huge and big, but little to nothing to do on a game. I mean, yes, there are NPC quests, a lot of it actually, but compared to the scope of the game, and the game being marketed as a space exploration adventure RPG game, it has no content at all, especially for that space adventure part of the game. It's nothing. You know what I think, honestly? Todd Howard and whoever worked on the game 
relate too much on modders. Before the game launches, the modders and making mods for the game was one of the golden points of marketing for this game, for the Starfield. Yeah, I think Starfield is going to be kind of a modders paradise. It's part of our DNA here. We've been doing it for over 20 years. So they thought, you know what? We will release the game as it is and modders will take care of it like they did for the Skyrim. But they missed the point that Skyrim by itself was also fun. Handcrafted locations and good gameplay loop. So modders were like, okay, this game worth our time and love and it's already a great game. So let's make it even better by adding the stuff we wanted to see in a game next to the cool stuff that is already in the game. But for Starfield, even modders are giving up. A big modder who made co-op mode for Skyrim just straight up gave up on the Starfield co-op mode because the game is a piece of dog doo-doo. They even said the game will have official mod support. But when the game was out in 2023, it didn't have it. And they later said it will be out in 2024, but which quarter of the 2024, we still don't know. And back to the point, they relate heavily on modders and it backfired. Starfield, as I'm talking to you right now, guys, has mostly negative recent reviews on Steam and all reviews is unmixed. It's just embarrassing, honestly sad. Sad for Bethesda and more importantly, sad for us, the gamers who waited so long for this game. I heard they want to update the game to add some stuff that people are asking and complaining about, but who knows how long that takes. They killed the momentum of the game. Anyways, I ranted enough, I guess. With a heavy and broken heart, I will say this. I hope this game gets better so maybe later generation can enjoy it. I hope this video helped you to understand my point of view, but do let me know what is your opinion about Starfield, positive or negative? Leave your comments in the comment section down below. I would love to have a conversation with you guys down there. Like the video please if you enjoyed this video and found it logical and subscribe for more gaming content like this. Don't forget that I love you guys. Keep gaming and I'll see you guys in the next one.